What is going on guys? This is Gaines Gaming. We are talking about infantry today and updating our 2024 best infantry commanders in the game and showing you exactly what your priority list should be for investing in the infantry in 2024. If you guys are new here, this is Gaines Gaming. We make Rise of Kingdoms content, so make sure if you are not subscribed already, you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. So Luce, I think, is the best commander in the game. So, you know, I'm not going to, you know, hold off and be like, wait, wait to see what the number one commander is. I think Luce is pretty obvious. I have made videos about him. I have, you know, talked about him in live streams. Every single piece of content I talk about Luce and how he is such a great commander. He is by far the best commander in the game. I think hands down, best commander in the game. Not even, not even remotely close. So the number one commander for infantry is 1000% Luce. I think you have three choices when it comes to infantry. The first choice is running one infantry march. And I think if you're running one infantry march, your one march is going to be Scipio Prime primary, and then you have Luce secondary. I think this is the best infantry march in the game by far. And I actually don't use this march. And that is because I use two infantry marches. And that is our second criteria. If you are using two infantry marches, that is where things get a little bit dicey and you can kind of choose where you want to put those commander sculptures. We do have a lot of different choices. And when it comes to two infantry marches, I'll start off with what I currently use and then what the other options could be that might be a little bit better. So the two pairings that I currently use are Luce and Alex and then Guan and Scipio. Now, I think this is great. I think Luce Alex is amazing. I think Guan Scipio is still very good but I think there is room for improvement with this lineup. And that is going to be with commanders that are in the Mightiest Governor. And that is going to be Gorgo. I think Gorgo is the one commander that, like, if you have her, you should be using her with Luce. I think Luce and Gorgo is better than Luce Alex. Even though Luce Alex is phenomenal, I think Luce Gorgo is a better pairing. Now, you can kind of mix this up, and you could still keep Luce Alex, and you could use Scipio Gorgo. Now, I don't love that as much. I would rather use Gorgo and Luce, but I know some people really like using Scipio Gorgo. It's kind of personal preference. But personally, I think Luce Gorgo is the second best infantry march in the game behind Scipio Luce. So with that two march infantry setup, I think Luce and Gorgo is your first march. Now, the second march, you have a couple of different options. And I think 100% you are having Scipio in the second march. He is... In my opinion, the second best infantry commander in the game. I don't think that's a controversial subject. I think most people would agree that he is the second best infantry commander in the game and still one of the best in the open field. And I think you have two different ways that you can field this. And I think that is either using Sargon or using Guan Yu. And I think, again, this is kind of personal preference on what you want your field to look like. If you are wanting something to silence, which is arguably the only reason why Guan is still relevant in 2024, or if you're looking for more just damage and, you know, dealing as much damage as possible, then you run Scipio Sargon. Now, I honestly think that Guan Scipio is going to be a better pairing than Scipio and Sargon, simply because with using Guan, you're benefiting all of your marches as well as your allies by silencing your enemies. Because with his AoE, you are able to silence three enemies at the same time, which is pretty huge. Now, this is huge not only for yourself, not only for your allies, but also to hurt your enemies even more because they are not able to use their active skill. That is huge because it's making you trade better, it's making your allies trade better, and it's making your enemies trade worse. So that is why I would still keep Guan Yu over Sargon, even though I do think Sargon is a better commander. I think Guan has such a niche role in 2024 and just in general that he is still considered usable until we get other commanders that have silences. And until we get to that point, which I don't know if we ever will, I think Guan stays relevant for that only reason. Because other than his silence, his kit is completely underwhelming. And I don't think if he had the silence, I would even recommend investing in him because of how underwhelming his kit is. Now, like I said, there is a third option and that is infantry mains, which I actually do advise against coming from someone who used to be an infantry main. And you can probably tell because I have commanders such as Pakal and Herald Expertise. Now, these are regrets of mine. I actually did Expertise Pakal within like the last year and a half, actually out of rage because I was so, so tired of trading so horribly, I was like, you know what, screw this, I'm just investing in Pakal, I'm going to city pop the crap out of 1034, because I was just, I was trading horribly in every single scenario, even when I was advantaged, I was still trading bad, and so I was like, screw this, I'm investing in Pakal, I did it on stream, 
Um, I can I can blame Redline because he actually told me to do it or <laughs> he donated. And he was like, yeah, go ahead. That's good content. And so I, I mean, obviously I, I'm not blaming him for it. I thought it was hilarious and I don't regret it really because it was good content and I still have 1500 gold heads to use up right now. So it's not like I'm hurting for gold heads, but I did invest in Pakal and I did invest in the Herald. And, you know, Harold has actually given quite a bit of kills in my days of using him, of using him with Alex, using him with Scipio. He actually hasn't been such a bad investment, but Pakal obviously is more of like a meme at this point because he really just got me like no kills whatsoever <laughs> and throughout my entire time using him. But, you know, it's kind of a meme at this point. But when it comes to infantry mains, I don't think it's a good idea simply because there just isn't enough depth in the infantry pairings to warrant having three marches. However, I will still give my recommendations on what I think could be good options for you when you are running three infantry pairs. I think your first pair is still going to be Luce and Gorgo. I think that is still a great pairing to use in the open field. I think you're going to be very happy with that. The second pairing is going to be Scipio and Tariq. Now, this could be switched out with Scipio and Harold or Scipio and Alexander the Great. That is going to be, you know, dependent on what you have invested into. If you have Harold, if you have Alex, or if you are going to invest into Tariq as a rally leader, then you can kind of choose where you want. I personally think that Tariq or Alex are going to be the better options because they have more viability. Although Harold is going to be good if you do get targeted and swarmed down, you're going to trade a little bit better. So it's kind of personal preference at that point. Now, your third march is going to be Guan Yu and Sargon the Great. I do really like this march in the open field. I think it's very viable. You could use it as a second march if you're willing to bench Scipio, or if you want to do Scipio and Luce instead of Gorgo, then you could do Scipio Luce and Guan Sargon. I think that's a great two pair as well. If you're not going to invest into Gorgo and just invest into the wheel commanders, I think that is a good idea. But like I said, I think Gorgo is a better fit with Luce, but it's kind of however you want to play out your commanders. But when we get to the point where we're running more than three infantry pairings, that's kind of when like the infantry main gets really disincentivized to do that. Because then like, who else are you left with? Like, sure, if you're running with the Luce and Gorgo, with the, with the Guan Sargon, and then the Scipio and Tariq, then you could run Pakal Herald, you could run Herald and Alex, you could toss Virus in there as well, or Pyrus, however you say this. I know people still like Chuck as well. You know, obviously Flavius has some viability in the open field, but honestly, like we just don't have a lot of depth with infantry. And honestly, once you get over two infantry pairings, you really lose a lot of viability and you kind of, you know, just are not going to trade very well because you're just way too dominated on infantry that isn't really that great in the open field anyway, besides the introduction of Luce and Scipio Prime. Ever since that, they've been doing a lot better. But before that, we just didn't really have that much depth or viability with these commanders. So I think that running one infantry pairing of Scipio and Luce or Luce and Gorgo are going to be your best fit. Otherwise, running the two pair setup with either Scipio and Luce and Guan Sargon, or running Guan Scipio, Luce Gorgo, or Gorgo and Alex. I think there is a lot of variety that you can use with infantry and a lot of different pairings you can use depending on what you have, because not everyone is going to have the Mightiest Governor Commanders like Tariq or Gorgo or Flavius. So, you know, obviously you can kind of pick what you're going to have available. Pretty much everyone has Alexander the Great. So he is a good kind of, I would say, budget march with Luce, where he's still very, very, very good, where you don't have to invest into Gorgo and win Mightiest Governor to get her. But let me know what you guys think down below about these pairings and what you think the best commanders are for infantry and whether or not you'd be an infantry main in 2024. Thanks for checking out the video and have a great rest of your night.